Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Howdy, Cougars. Welcome back to our weekly Wednesday broadcast. I'm Richard. Big Tex Perez. And I'm Zoe Petrie. And today is Wednesday, December 2nd. Wow. I can't believe it's already December. I know, right? Sometimes it feels like it's still March, but I hope that everyone had a wonderful and refreshing break. I know I did, but you know what? I kind of missed this place. You know what I missed? Zoe, I think we all know you missed lunch. Hey, it's not my fault that lunch is the best class of the day. Today we have golden corn dogs, crisp veggies, juicy fruit, crunchy chips, and all the milk you could want. As always, Liz, you are my cougar shout out. We have lots of cougar shout outs today. This shout out goes to Olivia. She's a great artist, she has a great personality, and she is kind, caring, and sometimes funny. We have a shout out for Isaiah. Thank you for being a good friend. Last but not least, we have a shout out for Samantha F. because she's kind and always helps out. Keep up the shout outs, Cougars. Yours just might be right on air. Speaking of air, I wonder what our weather will be like. Robbie, what's our weather forecast? <laughs> Thank you, Zoe. I can't believe it's already December. And you know what else I can't believe? This weather. It's time to bust out some sunscreen because it feels more like spring than winter. The area of low pressure is keeping the rain away and bringing lots of afternoon sunshine. This pattern will stick with us until the next week. Even though it's quite chilly in the mornings, by mid-afternoon we'll have highs in the upper 60s and low 70s. My suggestion is to wear layers. Bundle up in the morning, but be ready for warm skies in the afternoon. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Robbie. Well, Cougars, it's the end of the semester and we have lots of activities going on here in Cougar country. Seniors, it's time to check your email. You'll see an invite from Ms. Petrie for an appointment to review your transcript, your schedule for next semester, and your plans for after high school. You don't wanna miss this important appointment. Also check your snail mail because your transcripts are being sent home too. But wait, there's more. The college application elves have brought you a gift. The CSU application deadline has been pushed all the way to December 15th. If you or your family experience a significant change in your income, you might qualify for a fee waiver. Check out the senior Google Classroom for more information. That's good news, but what about the UC application deadline? Oh, I almost forgot. The UC application deadline has been pushed to this Friday, so there's no time to spare. If you have been putting it off, now is the time to make it happen. And if you need support, you can always email Ms. Petrie. Robbie, what's going on with academics and the arts? Boy, am I glad to get some extra time on my applications. Ms. Preeti, check your email, because I have some questions for you. Anyway, we want to remind you that our teacher's offer, office hours are today from 2.10 to 3. This is the time to get that one-on-one -on -one help from your teacher, especially with finals coming up on December 15th. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Take it from me. Your teachers love that kind of stuff. We have a gentle reminder about coming to school with a fully charged laptop. Cougars, let me give you a little tip. Before you go to bed, plug in your device. This way it can charge while you sleep. But make sure you don't sleep in because mock trial starts at 8 a.m. sharp. Art 4 and AP Art are this Friday with Miss Saab. The next Native American Club and Wolfpack meeting will be on Monday, December 14th at 3.30. If you have any questions, please reach out to Miss Lochner. And now back to you in the studio. Thanks, Robbie. Great idea about plugging our devices in while we sleep. What an easy way to multitask. I can't believe it's almost time for finals. I know. I hope we get to take our finals in our pajamas again. That was nice and comfy. Speaking of finals, they look a little different this quarter. They do? Yep. And while we do get to wear our PJs this quarter, we are also taking our zero period finals. Wait, hold up, slow down. Zero period has a final? How is that going to work? Do we have a final on Monday? No, no finals on Monday, but it is wild wacky winter wear day. Okay, so Monday the 14th, we wear wild, wacky winter wear, but no finals. When do we take our finals? Ah, uh -huh. we take our first final on Tuesday, December 15th. Step one, wear your pajamas. Step two, take your fourth, fifth, and sixth period final. Okay, that sounds pretty good. I like staying in my PJs, but what about zero period? What if we don't have a zero period? Not to worry. Wednesdays the 16th and, and Thursday the 17th are asynchronous days. Asynchronous what? Asynchronous. Like if you're an on-campus student, you stay home. In your PJs. Okay. I like the sound of that. Yes. Stay home in your PJs. If you're in a zero period, you will take your finals online. But if you do not have a zero period, you will have one-on-one -on -one online conferences with your teachers. So let me see if I understand. 
Tuesday, December 15th, we take our fourth, fifth, and sixth period finals. Yes. Wednesday, December 16th, everyone stays home, even if you are an on-campus student. Yep. And Thursday, December 17th, everyone stays home again, even if you are an on-campus student. Correct. Yearbook, Academic, and Art will take their finals on Wednesday. While they are taking their finals, the rest of us will be having one-on-one -on -one conferences with our teachers. I get it. On Thursday, Mock Trial, Leadership, and Upper Bound will take their finals. But if you aren't in one of those classes, you will have a one-on-one -on -one conference with your teachers. Yes. Cougars, make sure you connect with your teachers about the conference. Wow, who knew that the end of the year would be so busy? I think it's great that we have dedicated time to connect with our teachers for extra help and support. But academics aren't the only thing that are going on. Hey Cougars, do you remember when Chelsea told us about the Fire Explorers program? Well, if you are fired up about learning more about firefighting, visit our website under announcements for more information. Captain's Council meets today in the gym. We have lots to discuss, especially with the new guidelines. I know we have our eyes on December 7th as a return to play day, but we received word from the CIF that full practice and competition dates are on hold until we get some updated guidance. When do they think we'll be here an update? Probably not until January 1st of 2021. I know we are disappointed, but here in Cougar country, we are Cougar strong. Here's a quote about resilience. Resilience is accepting your new reality, even if it's less good than the one you had before. You can fight it, you can do nothing but scream about what you lost, or you can accept that and try to put together something that's good. That's a good way to look at things. I think it's why we are such a strong Cougar family. We are resilient and we always come out stronger than before. That's right, nothing can keep a Cougar down. Hey Richard, what's this I keep hearing about holiday toy and food drive? I am so glad you asked. This year, Leadership and FFA have partnered to sponsor a holiday toy and food drive. Please bring new, unwrapped toys and non-perishable food items to your homeroom class. All of your donations will help out our local families. Plus, the homeroom that brings the most items will win a donut party. A what party? A, a donut. donut party. A what party? A donut, make me say it again. The homeroom that brings the most items will win a donut party. And I got to tell you, I think my homeroom is going to win because look what I brought. Ta-da! I can taste the sweet victory already. Oh, really? You think your homeroom is better than mine? Well, what do you think of these? Nice try, bud. I don't think you understand how much I love donuts because all I also brought these. All right, all right. I see how it is. You came prepared this time, Zoe Petrie. But that donut party will be mine. Bring your non-perishable food items and unwrapped toys together. We can help our community and eat donuts. That's right. As much as I love donuts, there's nothing sweeter than supporting our community. That is what being an Upper Lake Cougar is all about. Well said, Zoe. You know what? This reminds me about our core values. When we practice our core values of being safe, respectful, responsible, we build character. I'd like to turn it over for Robbie for our uh, wellness corner. Our core values are essential to achieving excellence in academics, activities, art, and athletics. We are safe when we communicate and listen to each other. We are safe when we wear our masks properly. We are respectful when we keep our shared spaces clean. If you see a problem, you should let the office know. We are respectful when we are kind to each other. Kindness helps prevent conflict. We are responsible when we say no to drugs, alcohol, and violence. We are responsible when we see something, we say something. Our core values shape us into making the mighty cougars. Thank you for tuning in to the Wellness Quarter. Back to you in the studio. What a great reminder of our core values. Until next time. Go, Go Mighty Cougars! cougars.